Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Thank you for pressing play on this video. I'm excited that you're here. My name is Jenny Hansen Lane. If you follow me, you know that I have been pursuing KDP for a full calendar year and I've had some really cool ups and some really horrible downs and I'm here to share some of those with you because if I can make your life easier or better or more at the journey, more enjoyable, that's what I'm here for. There's people that have taught me things and then I am, I take action really quickly and so I can get quick results and I can get, um, hurt fast too. <laughs> so that's, that's why I'm here. I almost was going to be like, this video is about a funeral for my book, but, uh, we'll get into that. So hang tight in this video. Um, I'm sharing how one book brought in over $130,000 in sales. This is not royalties. This is sales for Amazon. I think it's important to talk about sales and it's important to talk about royalties also. So I'm going to break it down in this video for you, give you some clarity and let you know how important it is to understand the power that you have to scale a book on Amazon KDP. And there are a lot of benefits for doing that because once you validate it on Amazon, you guys, you can take it anywhere. And I'm in the process of that too. So if you are interested in that journey, then please subscribe like this comment, introduce yourself. I love meeting new people. And I kind of feel like you guys are my family online and maybe one day in real life. So let's dive into it. As you know, my name is Jenny Hanson Lame. I'm digital marketer. Did I just call myself lame? My name is Jenny Hanson Lame. The definition of lame is hurt foot like you can't walk good. And I have been lame in my life. And ironically, it was before I got married when I was just Jenny Hansen. I played soccer um, a lot. I used to think I came to earth to play soccer. Okay. So I'm a digital marketer course creator. I have three kids. I'm trying to increase my time and relationship freedom. So that's why I'm pursuing passive income. Okay. As one of my avenues of income, one of my income streams. Okay. So in January, 2020 is when I published my first book. It went live January 4th. Then I kept learning about niching down, niching down, finding customers that are looking for products in the categories on Amazon. There's 20 categories on Amazon. One of them is books. Okay. So I found a niche and I turned on an ad for that book. And I just started learning everything I could about ads about the different ways that they run, about the, you know, the idea that you pay for clicks only. I loved that because I learned Facebook ads and Zuckerberg wants you to pay him every time he shows your product or ad to somebody, even if they're not the right person, like click per click cost per click. I'm loving it. Okay. So I started the, this book was born in February. And I very slowly scaled up with ads. And what happened is when you turn on ads and you have a book that people want, you're able to three X your ad sales, when, ad sales, when you use accelerated strategies. So if we look into my account, you'll see that I sold about 1,600 with ads. But when you look in my other account, I mean, in the full account of orders, you're able to see that this is at least three to four X of that. So it is really interesting. Also too, when I run ads, if it makes sense to have the book in hardcover, I do that. And then when you guys do that, you'll get organic sales for paperback. So these numbers are just based off of, um, a couple books, but they don't pull in all of the windfalls that sales that come from hardcover or vice versa. Okay. So in August I hit my first 4k in royalties in my account and 90% of them was for one book. And so I kept pursuing ads to figure out, okay, bigger budget, bigger bids, let's go. And then in December, I wasn't really expecting December, 2022 to be that great because I don't feel like the niche that I publish in is a present book. And I thought if I could change anything about 2023, it's, I want people to think about this book as a way to give a gift. And so I am working on that because there's only so much I can say in my description and with that, right? So 2023 is looking a little bit different because of things that happened to me 30 days ago. 
Um, January was incredible. I hit 11K for royalties in January. I was on track to hit 14K. And then on January 20th, there was a book in my account that had an interior page from Creative Fabrica that someone uploaded to Creative Fabrica without permission. Creative Fabrica allows you to use interiors to make low content, medium content books, coloring books, drawing pages, things like that. So I had a little coloring book with my kids and because someone had uploaded that to Creative Fabrica and I downloaded the license, I got in trouble for selling it. Um, the, the page is not even available anymore on Creative Fabrica, which allowed me to see that there was copyright infringement. So because of that little coloring book that didn't sell that well, it just picked up because it was Valentine's and it was a Valentine's book, the books that were infringing copyright were deleted and blocked, but all my best-selling books were also deleted. I mean, sorry, they were blocked, not deleted. They're still in my account. They're still blocked. And my account was terminated for four hours and then it was reinstated. So it's been, let's use the right word. It's been an entrepreneurial traumatic experience. Like there's so many different ways that trauma comes to our life. And I don't want to overlook any type of trauma, but trauma can be defined by the surprise of something. And so like, I was very shocked and surprised. Okay. So now like fast forward a year, I hit 11K, like I'm starting over. I'm starting over again. And this book was 11 months and two weeks old. You know, I was like, just about ready to celebrate its one year old birthday, you know, like maybe a smash cake. Nope. My sweet, sweet book is blocked. We don't know. Let's say that's probably like it's in a coma, a coma. So it's, uh, it's touch and go. We don't, we don't really know. So I love that book, but I'm trying to be detached and I'm having to start over. Like I'm going to do it again. I'm going to use everything that I learned this past year to do it again. And I want to see if I can break that record of, you know, over a hundred thousand dollars in sales for a particular book and uh, see what we can do with the royalties. So I'm going to, this is a tip for all of you to do things again and again. I'm going to take my existing keywords and I'm going to plug them into book bolts. I'm going to plug them into Bookbeam, and I'm going to see what new keywords I learn from that, what niches arise from that. And I'm going to publish again and I'm going to use my style. I'm going to use my personality and my design sense to make another best-selling book. And most importantly, I'm going to use my ad strategy. I, you guys know that I love accelerating progress if I can. And so that's what, that's essentially what I'm going to try to do. And I, you, if you guys have followed my journey, you know how devastating it's been to have those cells cut off. But my, my knowledge, it didn't go anywhere. If anything, like it's really ironic. I'm learning so much the past 30 days. I'm recording this video. My, my, my best-selling books have been blocked for 30 days. I've learned more in the past 30 days than I would say in the last six months about KDP. And um, that's why I decided to offer a masterclass around this uh, next week. And so I'm shooting my shot, but I want to, February 2024, I'm going to be back at 5 to 10K months again of royalties. And um, I think this is a very doable goal and I'm going to go about it a little bit different. And, and if you guys follow me, you're here for that journey. And so that's what the comeback masterclass is called a comeback. We're going to talk about all the things I wish I would have known. <laughs> and it's essentially like the past 30 days of like, oh, wow, that was so painful. You guys have followed the journey as I've shared my bids and budget masterclass. And um, don't make me niche slap you, which is where this all started, finding a validated niche where people are looking for a book and you're going to create it instead of like, hey, I'm going to create 100 notebooks all in different colors. And then I'm going to open a shop and see who comes in it. We're not going to do that. We're going to go on the street and say, what type of book do you want? And when people tell us, then we're going to create our shops around that. And that's what I teach in repurposing profits and pending profits too. So if you are interested in any of those courses, they will help you. They will help you shoot your shot. They will help you to learn frameworks. If you are interested in any of these, you simply go to jennyhansonlane.com forward slash comeback or forward slash bids, forward slash slap, forward slash repurposing, forward slash pen, forward slash kickstart hasn't started yet. But um, 
these are the things, I mean, next week we're teaching call to come back. It's a live coaching. So you'll have a private portal. That's one thing that I really like about coaching. You can ask me personal questions about your niche and I'll give you feedback. So this is a course that's, uh, you have a replay to, and I always add bonuses. As you guys know, every masterclass, if there's something that I learn and it, there's a lot of step-by-steps, I'll put it in the masterclass, um, por- portal. So I'm really excited to do it again. I feel like I have to record this video. So in one year we can be like, all right, she hit it. Or, um, what do you call it? Airball. <laughs> like, I might airball it, but the thing is in the process of airballing it, I'm going to get better and better and better because it was only through all the pain of learning that I was able to get to this point. And now I have all the resources and framework to do it again. And so let me know what questions you have about ads or scaling one book. And, um, this goal that I have of shooting my shot, I'm going to try to have less ad spend than I've ever had before for 2023. So I am going to pull out and put on my digital marketing hat and create new frameworks for being less dependent on Amazon. And one reason I say that is because if you have a book that has sold on Amazon, that means it's going to sell other places. And so when my book got blocked, I went down the research of like, who else can print my book, who else can promote my book. And that's kind of what I feel like is really sent me on this journey of like it, I'm rising from the ashes because I see options and we should never just focus on one passive income stream. And so, um, there is joy in the journey and it can be really painful and growth is not just linear. And, um, I'm really grateful to share that journey and that you guys follow along and ask questions because I feel like it's easier to not do it alone. Love you guys. Peace out.